Hello everyone, my name is Jaleez, the JJ Movie Team Stretch Edge Game Reviews, everybody. And right now, everyone, I'm going to give you a Game of Drones Season 5, Episode 10 review, Mother's Mercy. And this is the finale, and I am fucking pissed. It's a fucking rant. Okay, I'm going to start off easy. One, the Drake main character is a die. One, Marcella dies. Well, Marcella's not really a main character. She's like, uh, not even really a character in her own right, because there's not been a lot of development. But she is Cersei's and Jamie's daughter, and this one, she's skin shipped back off to King's Landing with her uncle, slash father. And he's confronting her, and he's telling her all the shit, but she says she already knew, and she's happy that, that her uncle, in reality, is her father. She's happy about it. And, and they have this hug embrace, which was nice, and I thought it was a good moment. I thought maybe later on in the in next season, they'll carry it out. But no, it's Game of Thrones. They killed her off. Poison. And now, more than likely, Dorne will be... Dorne is going to fight each other. Dorne is going to fight... Uh, I'd say there might be a civil war in Dorne, but I doubt it. I think Dorne just got to defend themselves against the Lannisters now. Another thing, uh, Cersei did a walk of shame. <laughs> had to go full fruit, nuddle, uh, nuddle, uh, nude uh, out the streets, and basically, the mountain is alive, and yeah, he's protecting her. I'm fucking scared now. Whoever fucks with Cersei, bring it. She, she got some fucking mountain. There's nothing you can do. But besides that, a death that pissed me off. Stannis Baratheon. Now, a lot of people ain't a big fan of Stannis. For instance, they, they were starting to grow to like his character in Season 5, I guarantee you. And then he burned his daughter in Episode 9. Yeah, he burned his daughter in Episode 9. So, all this character development of his character and so much screen time. And so much time we had to see him draw from Season 3 to Season 2. And he fucking dies. All this fucking character development. All this sacrifices and all that stuff didn't mean shit. I'm not even sure where that red lady is right now. I, I don't even know where the fuck she is. I, I, my mind blanked out when I saw Stannis die. And the fact that he died and he automatically failed was just epic fucking retarded. You put so much character uh, uh, depth into this uh, character. You put so much effort into this character of screen time and you kill him off without anything. And he dies and Ramsey and the, the Boltons live. The flame fucking people. They live. I'm sorry. I choose Stannis over the flame fucking people any fucking day. And the fact that Stannis is dead, that this proves, without a doubt, that George R. Martin doesn't know what he's doing no more. I mean, you put so much screen time, you just kill him off for the sake of killing them off against the Boltons? What the fuck? I expected Stannis to beat the Boltons, go to Jon Snow, and fight the uh, fucking White Walkers in the fucking North. I'm tired of little conflicts down in the south of the North. I mean, you seriously just gotta stop this shit and focus up what's ahead. The White Walkers are fucking coming. And the fact that Stannis Baratheon is dead is really fucking missing me off. Um, that means Shireen's possibly fucking dead. I thought she was not dead. I thought this was a trick by the Red Woman to see how far Stannis would go. Just like how Jesus wanted one of his people to kill his own son, but he stopped him. That's what I thought it was. But no, it fucking happened. It was a burning of a daughter, and now we got a waste of a character of Stannis Baratheon. And now he's fucking gone. He's fucking dead. And by the fact that it was Brienne... I fucking knew it if there it had to be Brienne because she said a little thing at pot at the beginning that she swore revenge for Renly. Here's the thing, Renly may have been a good man and probably a good king, but here's the thing, he did not have to birth, right? He never fought a fucking battle in his entire uh, fucking life. He never sacrificed anything else. He just felt entitled to and he decided to take him for himself. That was basically it. But if you're telling him about rights and what's true to be a king, then stands to me it was a, a man who suffered a lot more both than all his brothers and Robert and uh. Ra Renly, sorry, I said Ramsey, but Renly. The fact that S Stannis is now officially dead, there's no Baratheon line. And also, the fact that Stannis is dead, there's no Baratheon line. What the fuck? And I don't mind that Brienne killed him, because I kind of saw it later on in the future, and she may kill him off, but this, way too fucking soon. Another thing, uh, Sansa escaped uh, from the Winterfell. She escaped. I'm sorry, but season five has been such a disappointing season for Sansa. She's not even but been a rape toy for Ramsey uh, Bolton right now. And Theon Greyjoy saved her from getting killed by that crazy woman that's in love with Ramsey. But still, she escaped and we don't know where they're going to go. Probably to the wall to go visit Jon Snow. And no, here comes my final reason why I fucking hate this episode. Jon Snow is fucking dead. They killed him the Okay, and then the Wilds Watch is like four to watch, four to watch, because they hate the fucking Wildlings. Well, guess what, fucking Night's Watch? You're 50 to zero now. The Wildlings 
have a lot more people. A thousand, a hundred thousand. I mean, under in the battle of the wall, in the wall, it was a hundred thousand versus one hundred. You, fifty year brothers died. They still have a lot more. Now, now the walkers have most of the wildlings, the dead wildlings now. But still, you're fifty men versus all the other wildlings. Good luck finding a fucking giant. I hope you all fucking die, you Night Watch people. Seriously, the Night Watcher is probably the most stupid it, it, it is order. You can't sleep with women, all that stuff. You can't sleep with women. Can't take no wife. Can't have no glory in titles. I understand that. But here's another fucking thing. Most of your soldiers, or most of Night Watch brothers are rapers and killers, and most of them ain't even good there. And yeah, okay, we yeah, have Dalton Beast for the Wildlings. Well, guess what? You kicked them over the fucking wall in the Game of Thrones history. The Night Watch. And the Wildlings fought together to destroy the White Walkers at the beginning. And when they defeated the White Walkers, they kicked the Wildlings over the wall. Basically, they kicked them the fuck out. Yeah, the Night's Watch are fucking hypocrites. I cannot stand the Night Watch. I cannot stand no such hypocrites. Granted, I think the Wildlings are Wildlings and they need to be controlled. But they need a better hardened person. To me, Stannis had a better... To me, Stannis or anybody fucking else. I mean, what's with George R. R. Martin and killing off these main characters? They kill off fucking Jon Snow. And for the record, I don't think he's dead because I don't want to spoil it for you, but I think I know who he is or who was his mother or who was his mother was and who his actual father was. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna go into. But um yeah, I am a big fan of Game of Thrones, I am, but there is hardly any fucking point no more. I'm sorry, but every single time I watch Game of Thrones I was like, Oh, I see this character now. The only one I'm voting for right now is Tyrion. And I'm not a big fan of Daenerys Stormborn Targaryen. I've never been a big fan of hers. But the fact that she's coming out, I'd rather just take it right now. Come with your fucking dragons. Burn the Night's Watch. Burn the Night Walker. Burn Ramsey Bolton. And burn George R. R. Martin for his fucking damn writing. I mean, he killed off so many damn main characters. All the Starks are dead. Including right now, Jon Snow's dead, gone. Um, All the Baratheons are gone. Yep. So we're left with Lannisters, a couple of... Bore, a boring Dornish three uh, daughters of Oberyn Martell who's fucking dead and I still can't fucking believe it. And there's hardly anybody to fucking root for in Game of Thrones. There isn't. I'm not a big fan of, of Sansa. You know who I'm voting for to win Game of Thrones? And, I'll, and you, people can rant about the shit, but Peter Baelish. Go fucking Peter Baelish. I hope he uh, uh, schemed everything around and everyone fucking dies. I'm sorry. That's going a little bit too far. All the bad ones die. And I just wish George R. R. Martin would do some fucking... What the fuck is he up to right now? I have no fucking idea. And I thought Peter Bates was going to show up with the Knights of the Veil at the end to wipe out Ramsey Bolton. But I guess, no, that ain't going to fucking happen. So, yeah. Overall, I'm very disappointed in Season 5. Granted, is it my favorite season? No. Is it the worst? No. But I still give like a... Probably like a 9.3, 9.3. Uh, 4 out of 10. It's just these last two episodes fucking killed it for me. I could not enjoy it. I don't like episode 9 of this season. I don't like M Mother's Mercy this season. I don't really like a lot of the stuff about the Senate. The Dornish story was kind of bland. It wasn't all that interesting. Arya Stark had a slow build up to it and I love the finale with her again against Mara Trant except for that one scene that was just what the fuck but still Arya I just wished you went to the north and just Slaughter them all. Just come up and become the heroine you're supposed to be and just kill them all and regain the Stark honor. Because your sister Sansa cannot do it. I'm sorry, your sister Sansa cannot do it. And I never thought I'd say this. I'm actually looking forward to seeing Bran. Yeah, Brandon Stark. I'm actually looking forward to seeing him with Hodor. I'm excited to see Hodor, but yeah. I just can't fucking believe it. Game of Thrones ended season 5 like this. Three, two main characters, Stannis and Jon Snow, dead. Two characters that were united at the beginning are now fucking dead. Or they were at least allies, but... I just cannot forgive George R. R. Martin for this. I cannot believe this fucking happened. I never thought this would fucking happen. I never thought he'd take it this far, but it's clear he doesn't have... George R. R. Martin doesn't have a clear ending, in my opinion. And if, it's, and if it is, it's not going to be a very good one. At least in my opinion. Let me know what y'all think. Everyone. Subscribe, like, the screen down at the bottom... Let me know what you fucking think of this atrocity right now. Right now, I'm watching Game of Thrones. Right now, I just got Spartacus. And guess what? I like Spartacus a lot more than Game of Thrones now. Alright, everyone. Name's Lace. This is the JJ Mooty. So, it's Game Reviews, everybody. And this is Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode 10, Mother's Mercy Review. So, give me a, let me know what you all think. Comment below. Let me know.
Name Jaleese, everyone. I'm sending off. Yeah, good day, everybody. Bye-bye.